Hi flying friends, I hope you're all going well. If you're new to the channel, I'm Min, and today we're going to prune and repot begonia maculata together. And this also applies to any cane type of begonia. And the reason why I'm doing that is because my poor green babies have suffered over winter. The edges of the leaves have gone brown because I've overwatered them. They're still in their nursery pot and the plastic nursery pot contains a lot of peat moss and peat moss holds onto moisture for a very long time. And also by pruning the plants back, it's going to make the plant look more bushy because it's going to create new growth, new leaves and new stems. And I prefer my begonia maculata to look more bushy rather than leggy. The first step is to grab clean clippers. I tend to clean my clippers with alcohol, but if you don't have alcohol at home, don't worry. You can use dishwashing solution. Just make sure that the clippers are thoroughly rinsed so that there's no chemicals left, left on the clippers. And first step is to locate a node. So let's take a close up look on the plants. And nodes look like slight swelling on the stem. They also have this browny ring that goes around the stem. And it's also an area where the leaves grow out as well. So grabbing the clean clippers, we want to cut about an inch above the node, which is about two, two and a half centimeters above the node. Keep these cuttings because you may want to use them to propagate. And if you like to know how to propagate begonia maculata or any type of cane begonia, I'll pop it in the description area and a link above as well. So once you've pruned back all the plants and you've got as much pruning as you want to do, let's start repotting these plants. The first step is to remove the plant out of its pot. Sometimes I squash the edges of the plastic pot and this helps to uh, remove the plant out of the pot. And then I gently remove any of the old soil. And sometimes I pop these plants into water because that will help to remove the excess soil and it's going to be always be damaged to some of the roots when repotting plants but just try and minimize it as much as we can and if there is some damage it can't be helped so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Once all the plants are out of its nursery pot let's pop it into its new pot. Today I'm using a terracotta pot. You can also use a ceramic pot. The reason why I'm using a terracotta pot is because the water in the soil is going to be evaporate more quickly in a terracotta pot and this will help prevent overwatering the plant. And the soil mixture I'm using today consists of 60% premium potting mix and 40% perlite. If you happen not to have a terracotta pot and you have a plastic pot or a glaze a ceramic pot, then I would uh, use a soil mixture that is even more well draining. So something like 50% premium pot mix and 50% perlite. But, but today we're going to use terracotta pot and once I pop the, we're going to pop the plants into the new pots, we're just going to gently backfill it, gently tapping down the soil just to make sure that the plants are securely in the soil. And then we're going to use a chopstick or any sort of stick that we have. We're going to go around the pot. This just helps to make sure that there's no air bubbles and that the pot is completely filled. We definitely don't want any air bubble because this is areas where the plant can now excess nutrients or water. And it's also an area that uh, can harbor bacteria as well. So once that's done, we're going to thoroughly water the pot and all the soil making sure that the water is draining out of the bottom because this makes sure that the plant is thoroughly watered and then get rid of all that excess water. And then we're going to pop the plant into an area that receives a lot of bright indirect sunlight, but never direct sunlight because begonia maculata or really any cane type of begonia don't like direct sunlight because that can burn the leaves. So that's how to prune and repot begonia maculata and you'll find that in the next few weeks uh, new leaves will grow out in the areas that we cut or new stems will grow out and I'll give you guys an update on how the plants are going but if you did like this kind of content please hit the like button and consider subscribing 
so that more plenty content can be created. I hope you all enjoy your rest of the day. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.